I'm on channel, this is webvideoshefs.com and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can lay video on top of video in iMovie. All right, this is um, done easily in most nonlinear editing software programs. iMovie also allows it. It's a basic form of it though. All right, and basically once you lay the video, it should look like this. About 15 students in the class this semester. We started off just learning some basic studio techniques. We have a full studio. All right, so it's a way to cover uh, any sort of narration or any sort of video track with additional video basically. And it is kind of an advanced technique. So to do that, first of all, go into your preferences in iMovie and make sure that you have advanced tools selected, all right? Because without advanced tools, you're not gonna be able to do this trick or this effect, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two, uh, these clips off of here, just so we can start over from scratch. All right, now you go to the first clip that you wanna grab. All right. Normally, cutaway shots will be no longer than you know, three or four seconds. So that's about it right there. It's three seconds, but that'll work. And then you just lay it on top of the uh, the video track, the first video track that you have laid, and just release it. All right, then you'll see this little um, menu appear. And you have a few options. You can insert audio only, picture in picture, side by side. And there's the chroma key green screen effect. We want to choose cutaway. All right, and then you will see that the track appears there. Cameras, the control room. So our first production was the Ear Studio talk show that the students can see and man the show. All right, and we'll lay one more shot there. This one. I'll lay this one as close as I can. Do it again, cut away. Right about there. All right, so let's just watch it real quick. The class this semester, we started off just learning some basic studio techniques. We have a full studio here with the lights. We got three cameras and control rooms. So our first production was the Ear Studio talk show that the students did. And the show, they did everything. All right, now the next thing I wanted, the last thing I want to do is just want to lower this audio track on the cutaway clip because we don't really need it because it's just going to distract, all right? In the class this semester, we started off just learning some basic studio techniques. We have a full studio here with the lights. We got three cameras and control room. So our first production was an in-studio talk show that the students produced. They ran the show. They did everything. Now, it's always good to edit uh, according to what the track is saying. So it kind of matches there. And then if you were going to go and continue, I would just continue to fill this up and continue to cover um, my commentary with as many cutaway shots as I have possible that are appropriate. All right. Hopefully this was helpful, though. Uh, iMovie has a few more advanced tools that I will go over in some future recipes. This is Amani Channel, webvideochefs.com. If you have any questions, ask us at ask at webvideochefs.com. Like, subscribe, check out another tutorial, and I'll talk to you soon. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.